Welcome to today's tutorial from the TwinSafe department. Today we take again a look at the TwinSafe loader. Today I will show you how you can customize a running TwinSafe project with the TwinSafe loader. My name is Martin Früchtel from the Product Management Safety. After the basic information and the description of our demo system, I will do the live demonstration of the TwinSafe loader. And I finish the session again with a short outlook to the next tutorial. As the goal of the tutorial, we want to customize a running TwinSafe project, which is configured for customization. And we want to permanently deactivate a running group on the DL1619. As prerequisites today, you need a Twinkle 3 version. Uh, 3.x, you need a TwinSafe loader version P7, the current version of the TwinSafe loader, and you need to know our last tutorial, TwinSafe tutorial 16, where we describe how you can configure the TwinSafe loader. As the start of today's tutorial is a Twinket 3 solution with an EL16910 project, where we start the configuration of the customizer. For our demo system, we are using an CX for the Ethernet communication and the standard PLC. We have an EL16910 as master twin self logic. The logic is talking to an EL1918 with a connected light barrier. We have an AX8000 in the X2XX safe motion version, and our engineering system is connected via Ethernet. The required functionality today is we want to use the running TwinSafe project and we want to customize so that TwinSafe group 2 is permanently deactivated. Then it's already time for our live demonstration. In the first step, we have to configure our safety project. So we configured the second TwinSafe group to be deactivatable permanently. We have a Valid safety project, we note the safety project CRC, C019, and of course we need the Ethercat address of the EL16910. So we go to the Ethercat adapter and note our address 1002. And last but not least, to download the project, we need the exported bin file from the safety project. In the last tutorial, we already examined the download of the safety project via the TwinSafe loader. So at the moment, when we go to our command line for the tutorial, we already have an ER16910 safety project running. We want to customize. And in the first step, we used the command line and the gateway and the address configuration with the additional parameter list to get the list of available configurations. We open the configuration file and we see that we get a list of all TwinSafe groups with the available configurations. And we see in the second line with the ID 2 at the beginning, we see that at the moment the second TwinSafe group is activatable. It cannot be passivated or temporarily deactivated, but it can permanently deactivate it, which is marked by the E in the last column. And in order to deactivate the group, we change the configuration, save the list, and with the same command line, only with another additional parameter, with the additional parameter customized, and as argument, our list we just configured, we can start the customization project. And after the command line has finished, the second TwinSafe group was successfully deactivated. And that was all for today's live demonstration. Next week, we'll take a look again at the TwinSafe loader. We will show you how you can add new target systems for the loader. Thanks a lot for your attention. I hope we will hear again next week with the next tutorial.